Hello everyone, it's Anthony, you're not alone. Gonna talk about a subject today about interacting with others and how to really not take things too personal. Um, I, I'm i gonna add more to it. I don't want that just to be the whole thing, like, oh, don't take it personal. I'm gonna explain why. Uh, most people, when they're going through their day-to-day, are having some sort of rough issue. And top that off, if you're kind of re- if you're listening to podcasts like this or podcasts of the same style, you've already got a little more understanding of yourself in that you're trying to grow from who you are yesterday. So for others that aren't doing this and are, aren't really listening to that inner person or trying to find out how to better be an individual, better be a human for the overall human you know, race, the human group, the population, try to help out instead of be a, a, a hindrance they aren't going to understand, well, they aren't first, they're not being personal when they say things in a bad way. And they aren't going to understand that sometimes the way they say things, it seems personal. And then you'll attack them for it. And most people, instead of saying, oh, I apologize, will attack you back. So I think the way to definitely not take things as personal is to just try and understand that you will have a time in your life where things are going rough and you will snap at someone and then you'll feel bad afterwards you didn't mean anything by it they just were asking you a question in a certain way or they were doing something you didn't like in a moment that you really needed them to do something else and it happens so what i'm telling you is the same way that you would do that most people are going to do the same to you whether they know it or not. They're going to be in the weeds. They're going to be in a pressure situation at some point. Or they're going to be having a really bad day. Or something's going on in the family. And they're going to crack. And they're going to say something to you. That they really didn't mean. Or if they did. It, it was just like a, a moment of. They just said something they really didn't want to say. But they said it. Like Even if they thought it. The important part is to just. Understand that the saying. Walk a mile in someone else's shoes. Is this right here. You don't know what they're going through. And even if they meant something in a bad way, it really doesn't matter. We're all small little beings on a planet going through space at thousands of miles per hour. And we're very, very tiny. And for you to take the words personal of someone who's having a rough go or a rough day or even they don't like you and say something malicious, it really doesn't matter that much. And I want you to understand that. I want you to take that to heart. The next time someone says something to you and it gets on your nerves, you just do not worry about it. Take your time. Take a deep breath. Think about what they said. Take in whatever you can out of it that's useful. Like if there's some actual good knowledge in there, if there's, if they said something like at work and you're, you're so slow at this, something, maybe you are. Take it in really calculate it. Am I really slow at that? Did they mean that? Or is it just today that they, they're in a rush and they need you to be faster? After that, release it. Find out where you feel it and release it. Just say, you know what? It's not that big a deal. And release it. This part's the hard part, obviously, because you actually have to let go of the things. And that's hard. We're all, you know, we can be spiteful sometimes. So I don't expect people to do this day one. Um, heck, I don't expect people to do this in day in month one. There was over time you just learn to uh, understand people better, have more empathy, which is the word. And by the way, if you you should look up the word empathy versus sympathy and understand the enormous difference there is, and understand that when you have empathy for individuals and you truly care, what they will come back into you, it, you know, they will reciprocate with the same amount of care. And you'll see people will just be brighter in you know your direction. That also kind of codes to the you know don't be afraid to shine brightly. Don't be afraid to be the one to be the the bigger person, which is such a corny way of saying it, but it's the reality. You know, it's just say okay, that was something that I didn't really appreciate. Maybe you make comment to him later, like hey, I, I don't know if you met a person or not, but just I, I didn't appreciate that statement. You know, come at it in a kind way. But for most time, you really don't even have to do that. They probably didn't mean it, especially if it's one of your friends and they're just having a rough day. You know, just 
it's just how it is sometimes. That's it's life. It's tough. So Anthony, you're not alone. If you have a situation where you think you sh- you should retaliate, you can feel free to ask me about it. We can talk about it. I don't know if I'll be able to give you the answer, but I'll do my best to help you lead yourself to the right way. Hope you're having a good one. And I'll talk to you all soon.